To get started, head over to lightship.dev and then sign in. If you don't have an account, just go ahead and make one. And then head over to your projects tab and we'll make a key for our SDK so that we can use our geospatial services and our multiplayer services. So just hit new project. If you've already got a key, you can use one of the existing ones, but if you don't, you press new project. Uh, and then down here, you can see the API key. So we'll just keep this for later. Next thing we can do is pop out our documentation. So I'll just open this into a new tab here. Now we'll walk through how to install the ARDK and get started. So while we're here, let's go ahead and open the Git URL into a new tab because there are two ways to install ARDK. We can do it from Git or from a tarball. There are a couple of packages on our Lightship GitHub. You can see our samples. It's just a project you can git clone and just use. We have the ARDK itself. We have the multiplayer shared AR package and we have our maps package. All of these can be used together to make your application. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the ARDK here and then we're going to go code and we're going to copy this git URL. Now we install the ARDK package, so go to Window Package Manager and then click the little plus icon and select Install from Git URL. Paste in the URL that you got from our Git repository and hit Add. Just say yes to any pop-ups that you get. This is just saying it would like to use the new input system. A light chip is now installed. As you can see, the plugin is here. So the next thing we're going to do is just enable it in the settings. So we can close the package manager. And then we can see we have the light ship menu here where we can bring up the settings. And you'll see over here, it's, it's got some warnings saying a few things are not correctly configured. So what we can do to fix those is go to the light ship menu and you can see that there's a project validation link here. So open that. Now this just shows you various settings that need to be turned on. The first one is saying that we actually haven't enabled the ARDK. So if we click edit here, it'll take us to where we need to go. And now you can see here, we just don't have light ship turned on. So tick this. While we're here, this will be true for the other platforms as well. So let's go to Android and let's turn on Lightship. So now you can see that we've got both Lightship and AR Core enabled. Uh, and then we go over to iOS and we do the same thing. We say Lightship plus Apple AR Kit, please. Now if we close this window, we go back to our validator one more time just to check. And now you can see that there are a few more warnings because we enabled Lightship for these platforms, but not all the settings for the platforms. So we can handily just press fix all. And that got rid of a whole bunch of the warnings. The last one here is actually saying we don't have an API key. So to fix this one, we actually need to put an API key here in our settings. And we get that from lightship.dev. So we go back to the website. And as I said before, we made this project key. So you just copy it then go on over to the settings in Unity and paste it in here. Now I'm not going to paste the one I just made. I'll just put a fake key in there so that the warning goes away. You will need to paste a real key if you do want to use our shared system or our APS. We go back to our validator one more time just to check. iOS is fine. Desktop is fine. And let's have a look at Android. Oh, we've got a bunch of Android things. So if you do want to build an Android, you'll need to fix all of those as well. So again, press fix all. And there we go, no more warnings. So now that we've installed Lightship, we'll need to set our scene up to have some AR in it. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just move my game window over to the side here, because I'd like to be able to see both the scene view and the in-game view at the same time. Lightship is now compatible with AR Foundation. So the way that you set up a scene is the same way that you would for any AR Foundation tutorial. You can follow any of Unity's learn guides on AR Foundation or any other tutorial source that you like. I'll walk you through very quickly what you need to do. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of the camera. So we'll delete this and then we'll add in an AR session and uh, XR origin from the XR menu here. So AR session. XR origin. Now, if you look under the XR origin, there is a camera in here, and this has been set up with all the things you need to make AR work. So it's got the camera manager, the background shader, the tracking pose driver, and these are all the things AR Foundation needs to make a session. So if we save this, we now have a fully working project. But when I press play, actually nothing's going to happen. Like we have a blank screen over here, which is not what we want. In Lightship, we have a mode called playback, which will allow you to run in the editor. And all you need to do that is have a playback recording. To get a playback recording, you can download one from our website, or you can make one using the samples project. There's a playback recording scene, which allows you to just make a video recording of an area, and then you can loop that in the editor while you work. I have a few of those on my machine, so I'm going to select one, and I'll show you what that looks like. So we'll go to settings. Then we go to editor here in the playback section. We turn this on, and then we have to just browse to and find one. So I've already got one here that I use all the time. And this is uh, just a, a scene here from one of our offices. So I'll just 
leave that selected. So now when I press play, the playback will kick in and we'll see a looping video of our Niantic London office that we can use to build our scene in. Now that we've configured Lightship and enabled playback, we can go ahead and add some AR objects into the scene and test that everything is working. The easiest way to do that is to follow our occlusion how-to. So we'll go back to the website and then we can see that we have a how-to section which we can expand, we can expand AR, and then we can click on occlusions here. This how-to will show you how to quickly get occlusions up and running. I'm just going to walk you through that now. So in order to do occlusions, we need something to occlude. So let's add a cube under the camera. Now we can't see the cube at the moment because it's actually behind the camera. So let's drag it forward a bit. Let's just say five meters. And then if we press play, what will happen is the cube will move with the camera, but it's not occluding because we haven't actually told it to turn on occlusions. We've just said, make the cube move with the camera. So stop. Then we go to the camera and we say that we want an occlusion manager. So add component, occlusion manager. You can see here that it's already set up to do environmental depth and that it's all turned on. So if we save this, I will tend to uh, also set an aspect ratio that's more like a phone. Uh, you can create your own aspect ratio or you could go into build settings here, select the platform that you would normally run on. So if I switch to iOS, and then here in the drop down, you'll see various devices that you can pick. So let's just say we're using a portrait uh, iPhone. And now if we press play, what we should see is the cube gets occluded as it moves about. And there you go. You can see the cube is being occluded by the chair and the wall and the tables, which means we've successfully installed ARDK, created our first experience, and it's all working and it runs in the editor. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy playing with ARDK.